You remember the recent negotiations on EPAS, for example, whereas you, East Africa was trying to stand up as a common ground. Other countries like Kenya went ahead and negotiated separately and got their own way. So I think yet this brings us back to this chatter. Africa often agree on the issue, but translating it into concrete actions has always been an issue. Look at the case of this charter. Uganda signed, they agreed many years ago. Uganda signed in 2008. Ten years down the road, it is an African Union aspiration, but uniformly we have not yet agreed. Others have not ratified. So I think Africa often, African leaders often have a challenge in concretizing. We believe that we will be able, as civil society, will be able to check um, on whatsoever that is going on in Uganda, but also to all the um, uh, to all them accountable uh, towards the principles that um, speaks to human rights uh, violation, speaks to good governance in Uganda, speaks to um, rule of law, speaks to democracy in Uganda. So as East African civil society, we are very clear in this position that we demand, but also we urge the Ugandan government to respect these kind of treaties, um, but also to make sure that they, they, they work within their, their own context of the Ugandan country. The African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Good Governance was adopted by the African Union Summit on the 30th of January 2007 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, as a roadmap to encourage better governance across the continent. It sets out international standards of good governance and democracy in the rule of law, free and fair elections, and condemning a constitutional changes of government.